somebody by the hand right next to you. We're about to take a trip. You got to be nice and tight. But when we go, it's going to be a little bit wet. We want that hand to slip. Yes, go.
enjoying Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm feeling mighty happy. And I'm feeling mighty fine. Because I'm enjoying Jesus. And this joy that I have, I don't know, that's got to be a personal testimony for everybody. Yes. We can't say me. Hey, this got to be personal. But somebody, if you have that same person, say, this joy that I have. The world been given to me. And the world can't take me. This joy is so special. Joy looks at me at night and watches me cry. Then it comes and visits me in the morning. I can't do it justice because it's, 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 it's unspeakable. Every now and then I try to pick a weight, try to do a little something, something, something. But one thing I can't get at the gym is the strength that comes from the joy of the Lord. I thank God for everybody. Yes, you did today. Come on. So, our friends that are with us, you're not visitors, you're our friends and family that's with us. Everybody from Brooklyn, New Jersey, even Minister Brooks' family is here. Amen. He's so glad. Oh. Jesus, friends here, right? Um, to them. Amen, 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 amen. And, and family came to back to see us from that long trip on that plane. She's back with us. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. amen. We bless the Lord. Amen. I want to say this. I, I want to acknowledge this particular person because it's her family that's here. That's, you know, we always call her the Queen of Newark. Amen. Our own. The pastor, Pauline Moore, is her daughter, grandson, and great of right there, and, and great grandson. Right is, is, is that miracle right there, too? Mm -hmm. I thought it was good to see you. Amen, amen. Mm -hmm. And hey, we bless. There's a miracle in the house. Come on. To the host of God's people, to the preacher, preacher from last night. Amen. Our own Pastor Evangelist Shirley Jackson. Amen. The amazing grace, healing, and the literature. Amen. And to our presider for today. Amen. She told you it was like fire. Amen. It was like fire. Man, I was looking at her every time she stepped down and felt like there was fire under her feet. She couldn't keep her feet still. Amen. You know, you know how that fire is, you can't keep your feet still. She got up there and she got up with a praise. She got up with a praise. That's how you put that fire. Nobody got the pump, you do got it. Seventh, is the seventh day Sabbath, yes. but it's also the feast of unleavened bread. Yes. Amen. The day that the children of Israel marched out of Egypt. Yes. Amen. They marched out last night. 
and this is the daylight part of the day that they marched out. Yeah, I know. Amen. They went out at night. Amen. 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 Of Israel, we praise God. I want to thank God for the skit that was done with our And the playwright of herself, yeah. uh, Minister Brooks, amen. No, no, that, that is just what she loves, amen. She, she loves that, she loves working with children and so forth, amen. We got to free people up to do what they want to do, amen. We praise God, amen, praise God. Come on, good to see our daughter back, amen, amen, amen. This is celebration time. This is time. You open your offering, honey. You, you see people, you have to see my, you open your offering, you embrace them. Ah, what the hell? I want to thank God for the feast day committee. Amen. They have done a marvelous job, done a marvelous job, done a marvelous job. Amen. And you look around, you see different things that you... <laughs> don't normally see it is because the Feast Day Committee put it together with the help of the missionaries and I want to celebrate them today. Amen. What do you want to celebrate them on today? I also want to acknowledge our musicians. See, so sometimes we take, uh, I don't, uh, Amen. like, I know I'm crazy about our musicians, y'all know me, right? Amen. The church didn't buy this keyboard organ. The musicians, every time they get a little envelope from the church, they saved it up. All right now. The musicians. All right. So I want y'all to think about that when it's time for the musicians offering, I walk past it. They saved the church at expense. As a music, I want to clap for I'll clap for Amen. The musician, these young people here, save the church $1,500. These our musicians, our musicians. And when they get their envelope, they pay their tithe too. Our musicians, amen, and I, I honor them before God today for their love for the church that they would do that, amen, amen, praise God, amen. I thank God for the prayer that my mother prayed. Sometimes people see people on a cane and think they have no power. Can I say this? Some tired people on the cane, they think they have no power. Amen. Amen. We are blessed amongst measure, whether you believe or not, that we have the truth of God. I mean, we have the truth of God. What we're doing today, what we did last oh night, God. we can back it up with scripture. Right. We didn't do it traditionally, we did it biblically. Yeah. The world, the world look at us, they look at us and they say, uh, why are they observing that? Uh, they're not the people that are supposed to be observing, you know what I'm saying? They're not the people that are supposed to be observing that, amen. But aren't you glad you got the truth? Amen. Amen. Praise God. I thank God for how I was introduced and presented by my wife. Amen. Amen. And she told you the truth. I do not put the Bible on anyone. I don't put the Bible on anyone. My 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 children can tell you we will have throw down arguments at, at, at the house because they grown now they could have talked to their dad and but one thing I won't do is try to put the Bible on them. Amen. Amen. To me that's a bully preacher. Amen. Say that. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. Amen. That's a fully preaching. Just preach the word of God. But we have discussions. Now, I'm glad she told on herself. She tries to put the Bible on me. Amen. 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 She has not directly divided. Amen. But we thank God. Amen. 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 We thank God. All right. We praise God. I mean, we have an in-house joke. I'll let it slip out now. I said, it's amazing. You only know the scriptures that help you, but not the scriptures that will fix you. And most people are that way too. Amen. They know the scriptures that will help them get what they want, but they don't know the scriptures that fix them the way God wants them to fix them. Amen. Let's go to the scriptures. I know everybody's ready to eat, so I'll get ready to feed you from the Word of God. <laughs> if you're hungry, well, I'll feed you a little bit here. Amen. We will sit down and die sufficiently. I promise you that. The committee has put together. Food as it was coming in, it was smelling good, it was smelling bean, and then came in like, yeah. oh, Lord have mercy, it was smelling good. All I had in my hand was my smoothie, but that food was smelling good. Amen, we praise God. Good one job. verse, okay, one, 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 one scripture I want to do. John chapter 1, John chapter yeah. 1. Verse 1 and verse 17. Right. It reads, in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God, and the word was God. Verse 17. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. In the 18 verse also. No man have seen God at any time, the only begotten Son of God, which is in the bosom of of a father, the he have declared him. Somehow or another, I have to tie this together with this subject, the itinerary of Jesus Christ. All right now. The itinerary Jesus. of Jesus Christ. Yes. I checked with Jesus' travel agent and I found out Jesus did a whole lot of traveling. All right. First of all, he started in the beginning. Right. When God was doing things in creation, All right. Jesus was right there. Amen. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yes. He was in the bosom of the Father. The oh, yes. And he was recognized as the Word. Yes. So that's why when you hear Genesis being read and taught, mm -hmm. you hear about words being said. You don't hear about things being done, but you hear about words being said. When, when, when God said, let there be light, he was speaking to his son, the word, and there was light. When he said, let the dry land appear, those were words, and his son reacted. Because the scripture tells us in John, there was nothing made that was made except by the word. Jesus enjoyed the privilege of being in the bosom of his father. And sometimes we don't pay attention why the Bible talks about the bosom of the father. Because in the bosom of the father is his heart. So Jesus was God's heart. And that's why when we receive Christ God gave us something that he loved more than anything else. Things happen along the way where Jesus had to start traveling. I won't be able to read all of his time. Just let me show you some the places he had to travel to and why he had to go there. All right, here we are. We are in a feast that we're celebrating called the Feast of 
He said, for the body thou hast prepared for me. Because he had to take another trip. And the word was made flesh. Yeah. yeah. Right. It, it dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory yeah. as the glory of the only begotten of the Father. Full of grace and truth. Yeah. He left his mighty throne in glory. Yeah. <laughs> to bring to us redemptive story. Say yeah. The first stop he made, he came unto his own, and his own received him not. Yeah. <laughs> but he didn't stop there. The scripture said, as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God. So God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son to whosoever believing in him should not perish but have everlasting life. On the guy he came down. We needed salvation. <laughs> but his first trip, he came as a baby. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. But he began to get a little older. And at the age of 12, he took another trip. His itinerary sent him to the temple. But when he got to the temple, he was dealing with the doctors and the lawyers there. And he had to let them know it's about time. I'll be about my father's business. I'll say yes. Well, can I keep on traveling with Jesus? Can I keep on traveling with Jesus? He kept on traveling. That from age 12 to 30, the King James Version of the scripture doesn't tell what he did. But next thing you know, at the age of 30, he took another trip. She yes, he went to Cain. He went.